M0FXB, welcome to my channel. And this is the AlphaPOC 602R pager that we use for ham radio for DAPnet. I recommend this one because it just does everything it's meant to do and it's set at the right frequency as well. So it is quite confusing, but first thing, get the battery in, of course. Just slide that off there. Quite fiddly, but just pull this back and put your battery in there. It's a AAA battery. Then you'll be appeared with this. Now there's lots of settings we can do, time and all that, but just right now, I'm just gonna show you how to get in your, the important stuff, which is your frequency, which it should be set at default as 439-98750 anyway, with a bit of luck. So what you do is hold down this button here, this big button here, hold it down at the same time as holding the top arrow. That's all, oh, that's the message I got. Anyway. Okay, and you're straight away you're shown the password, which is all the zeros. Now, see it says zero there. With these two buttons here, the bottom two, you can go up and down and change the zero. Now there is a timeout, so you have to be quite quick. So let's do it again. top and the bottom button then we've got zero so we can go to the end of the zeros and then it will log you in now now the way this works is is as you scroll through you are you are going along 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 you have to go all the way to the end for everything you want to do okay so you're not there's no up and down button there's just along and on see what i mean and you've got eight ric number possibilities here and we just got one in now which is the one I got from DAPnet you do have to register with DAPnet open up a ticket I'll do a completely separate video on that so but right now we need to get my DAPnet number in that was assigned to me uh, which is basically my DMR number but instead of having my a two at the front they've replaced it with a zero which makes sense that, so that way it works and it's a one two three four five six seven digit number so with the up and down arrow Move to the thing you want to change. So I've turned on the A thing. So look, you can turn that on and off with the large up and down button. So I would say leave the one you want on. And then if you want, you can turn another one off. So I could just go in here now. I might have another RIC number I want in there to receive. And I could um, turn it on and then I just go along and I can change that number. Okay. And then what I did is I went through and I turned everything else off. Okay, and I know it's a little bit tedious, but there's only eight lines, and it, you soon go through. And when you get to the end, look, you go back to that. And now, with the large button, this is where you've got the ability now. Now, I haven't changed the BPS, but look, you can change the board rate up and down. I'll leave it at 1200 because that's default. Then, with these arrows, you can go to normal polarity. And here's where you could change the frequency, but I'm not going to, but you could within the parameters of the device. Go all the way along with the down arrow. And then look, I'm not going to use the word, push the word program because we're not programming. And then I'm going to select exit with this button here. And we've now exited. So now what I'll do is I'll send a message to myself using my app. So here's the app. Let's... Remember, we're already registered, but if, if you want to register, just go to their help page. They'll have a help page somewhere. They've definitely got it on their PC. And there you will open a ticket and you will create your account. And they will use your call sign, ham radio call sign, and they'll give you two passwords. One is your account password, just to log in. The other is your transmitter password. And you need that to be able to do what we're doing right now. So we're going to send a message. Send message. Now, even if this fails, this is the way you do it. So I am registered, look, so my name has come up as soon as I put an M. So if you're registered, that will color, come up. <laughs> now I will say pager test. This is a 602R pager. Now we'll also have a go at doing this with our app, with our hotspot, which is we do have here. I'll put that in the background. So anyway, let's um, pager test, m 0 and we've selected all, okay? And then we'll click send. And with a bit of luck, it did work just now. There's a delay, you will, I will get a pager message. Okay, and you can see, pager test. And it's got my RIC and it's already been converted to my call sign because that's why you register with DAPnet, because that's what they do. 
Okay, right, let's push this, to, let's end it, okay? Now this is the next test, and I, I, I haven't even tried this out yet. Uh, this is a hotspot made by Carl at DV Mega, right? So, Alpha Pop 602R, this is back out, and it's, it's showing the message there. You just push back like that. There are more settings in this. You can just press, let's have a go, this button, and then you get delete messages, lock messages, escape, yeah, you can set the time, battery, it looks like you can charge the battery but you do need to obviously use a chargeable battery because this came with it, this charger and it plugs in here, it's like an old fashioned camera USB isn't it, and that looks fine and they've got a little chain as well, so, so there it is appearing, long but i do have a dog so now let's have a go at sending a message using the actual hotspot so we tap the screen there tap that net then we go send a message okay send message and then we're going to put my course on in m zero f x b okay enter then we'll just go high for now and we'll click enter and then yes it's now sending a message. It is going via the DAPnet system. Again, thank you very much to DAPnet. They've done a lot of work on this. So it's saying send a message via my hotspot, which is acting as a pager. Remember, a pager is a receiver-only item. So with a bit of luck, it will beep. There you are. Hi. The DV Mega UK35, which is the name of my PiStar hotspot that's written on my dashboard of my MMDVM PiStar. I'll quickly show you my PiStar settings and the DAPnet page. I'll just do it using my phone and then you'll know how to do this. But yeah, how cool is that? And also eventually we're gonna get our DMR radio because there is a, a talk group 262, I think 994 or 26294, no 994, that has a cross mode that will also, you send a text message on your DMR radio and it will go through to this system and then you'll get it on your pager. So just quickly show you, here's DAPnet on my PC and at the top here, one of them is help, click support. When you go to support, click open a ticket and it's here you just put in your email, your name, your call sign and the first account you apply for is DAPnet account with RIC. Fill that out and then send. You'll get your username and password. The second account is your transmitter and you'll get that there, new transmitter, same email, name, call sign, a bit more details about how you're transmitting. Uh, just, you, you know, just tell them the truth, basically. And then I'll just show you the dashboard on my MMDVM hat. And I'm, as you know, I'm using DV Mega Hotspot PiStar system. So this is what it looks like on my PiStar and the configuration is go configuration, turn on Poxac, it's that little slider there. You can use DMR as well. I've turned it off because, it, you know, it's a distraction when you're setting up. Use your settings. But what happens when you turn on Poxac, you get this and the frequency is there already, but you can change it where it's going to transmit your RI, you know, your details. The authorization key is the second password they give you with your transmitter, which is working great. So the, and then you select the drop down here, Poxac server. I just did the top one, call sign, frequency, authorization key. Leave the Poxac whitelist and blacklist blank. Leave that blank. It's where you can sort of filter out who you want to talk to, basically, or, or message to. Then at the top, lastly, just go to uh, configuration expert, DAPnet, I API. And then here is the first password that they give you and you want to put in your call sign, the first password they give you at DAPnet and then the TX area is UK hyphen all. Once you get that, apply it, go back to dashboard and you'll start to get this nice dashboard with messages from other people as well uh, via the pager system. So have fun. Any questions at all, send me a message. Thanks to DAPnet. 7-3, all the best.